Alrighty, folks, tomorrow, September 13th, you have an assessment over Chapter 3. So if you've been keeping up with the flip videos, working in your groups, doing the readings with your best effort, I guarantee you that you will be fine for this. So I'm going to describe a little bit of the assessment to you so you can practice um, for the rest of class as well as tonight at home. So this assessment, what you're going to write is you're going to write a total of two paragraphs. Yeah, yes, I know, it's a writing assessment, but it's going to be a good kind of idea for me to see some of your writing skills, and it's higher order thinking, so it's making you guys compare and contrast. So what you're going to do is you are going to create a letter home to your parents describing life in your colony. Um, so this is the assigned colony that I gave you and that you presented on today. So um, we're going to be in the shoes of a colonist and we're going to write back home to England. So you must include first information about the geography, climate, government, religion, settlers, reason for settlement, and economy. Hint, hint. These are all in your notes, your concept web notes that you created for me. So when you read your section and you did your notes with your group, you can use these tomorrow on the test. So make sure, go back and see if you did these with your best effort because these will be important in pretty much completing the first paragraph. Okay, the second paragraph is going to be some more higher order thinking. You guys are going to write about two similarities and two differences between your colony and the other colonies. Okay, listen closely. Here's an example of what I mean. So, I did Massachusetts, therefore my colony is in New England. So I am not going to compare or contrast any of the other colonies in New England. Okay, I have to look for similarities and differences between the middle and southern colonies. Okay, so if you had the middle colonies, you have to compare and contrast to the New England or southern colonies. If you had one of the southern colonies, you have to compare and contrast to the New England or the Middle Colonies. Okay, this is going to be an important feature of the assessment. Now I'm going to kind of show you guys exactly how you're going to be graded on this assessment. So I'm using what's called a checklist and there's five things and to make it easy um, each kind of point is is going to be worth two points. So if geography climate government, religion, settlers, reason for settling, the economy of a assigned colony are explained accurately, you get two points. And um, I'm also going to add in there that you need to describe at least four of those things. So you don't need to describe every single thing on your concept web, but if you describe four of them, you will be just fine. If you describe them accurately, you will get the full two points. So make sure we're using our notes. Another thing you must do is you must explain two similarities accurately between your colony and another colony. If you do that, each similarity is worth a point, so that's a total of two points. And then two differences are explained accurately between the assigned colony and another colony. So each difference is going to be worth one point, which totals it to two. Then the letter format is followed correctly. So I'm just kind of kind of grading to see if you're following just how to write a letter. Dear mom and dad, um, add some creativity into it. And then finally sign at the bottom, love your son or daughter, and then write your name. We just need to know the letter format. That's just kind of um, a formal writing skill that we need to always be cons considerate of. And the last thing is, show me some creativity and individuality um, in your writing. So this means that, you know, make up a story about yourself. Um, how did you, or why did you come over to the colonies? What job do you do? Um, what religion do you practice? So if you make this kind of individual and really almost create a character, um, I will give you two points for your creative creativity and individuality in your writing. All right, I'm going to show you kind of my example that I created for this assessment. Obviously, this example 
earned all 10 points, so this would have gotten a 10 out of 10. So this is an exemplar um, if you're looking for what you need to include to get 100%. Okay, so I'm not going to read this to you guys because you don't listen to me when I read. So I'm going to upload this on my Google Classroom page. It should be in the same link that this video is in. Um, just make sure that you are paying close attention. So I'll kind of overview kind of what I did here. Um, tomorrow, also when you take the test, you will have the option of typing it on your computer or writing it freehand because I know people like options. Um, I know I like typing, but other people may um, like writing a little better. So what I did here is the first paragraph is going to be exactly what I got from my concept map and my notes. So I described four things here. My colony was Massachusetts and I described here in green is the geography. I described in red here the economy. I told my mom because I was writing to my mom the religion that people practice in Massachusetts. I described why people came to Massachusetts and I also described the government of Massachusetts. So I actually described five things. You will only have to describe four things that are on your notes. So right here I, I described them accurately. Um, I did them well. I expanded upon them and I got the full credit for that. Now, in the second paragraph here, where you see the yellow and green, these are the similarities and differences. So in the, in the yellow are the similarities, and in the green are the differences. So I took um, my knowledge of Massachusetts, and I found something that was similar between the middle and the southern colonies, and I found two things that were different between the Massachusetts and the middle and the southern colonies. Um, so please take a look at this, read through it, and then finally at the end I signed off, love your son, Joseph Hunter. Okay, also tomorrow you will have the option, anyone in the class will have the option of using a writing frame. So this is also included on the Google Classroom link next to the model that I just showed you. Um, and you can make a copy of it to practice for tomorrow. And I really want you to use this to practice. So um, I took kind of the frame from my model and I put in blanks and I kind of gave you clues of where, what you need to insert from your notes. Okay, so as you can see here, um, you need to put your colony right here. So if that's New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and then in this colony, there are, and you insert the information on the geography of that colony. Okay, same thing with the economy. You insert information on the economy right from your notes. Religion, right from your notes. And reasons for settlement, right in your notes. Okay, that's the first paragraph. On the other page, it's the similarities and differences. So, um, Similarity, difference, similarity, difference in your blanks. And I give you clues about what you need to add. And that makes it simple. Um, if you hit everything on this writing frame and you do it accurately and you do it with some creativity and you really show me your knowledge, then you will earn full credit on this assessment. So please, um, I would suggest you to you to utilize this writing frame and like I said you do not have to but it would be a really really good way to practice okay now you have the rest of class time to work so I would go to my Google classroom page and I would look at my model and the writing frame and I would use my notes in order to practice this Okay, this is your guys' first true assessment of the year, and so I want it to be a successful one, and I know you guys will do awesome. Okay, get to work.